an analyzation of meter, rhythm, and rhyme in the poem Dog's Death by John Updike, a presentation by Jordan Myers and Rachel Phillips. The section of the poem we decided to analyze was the second stanza. We thought her shy malaise was a shot reaction. The autopsy disclosed a rupture in her liver. As we teased her with play, blood was filling her skin, and her heart was learning to lie down forever. Here you can see we have scanned the poem and marked the syllables as stressed or unstressed. For rhythm, the entire poem can be classified as a sonnet with an added first stanza that is free verse. Singling out our stanza, we found that it is mostly iambic pentameter, with the third line being anapestic. The poem has mostly masculine endings, endings that end on a stressed syllable. However, the stanza we chose to analyze ends in mostly unstressed syllables, making them mostly feminine endings. For rhyme, the entire poem has an irregular rhyme scheme caused by the inclusion of the first stanza being in free verse. Other than that, the poem is a sonnet with a dominant ABAB or AABB rhyme scheme. The poem has many slant rhymes where the two words have similar sounds that don't rhyme completely. Reaction, skin, liver, forever. The tone of Dog's Death is melancholic and reminiscent. The rhythm, which is slow and repetitious, reinforces the sad, reflective nature of the poem. In addition, the rhyme scheme, ABAB and AABB, adds to the tone by creating an intense emotion within the reader. As the rhymes progress from slant rhymes to actual rhymes, the reader feels more involved with the story the poem presents. The melancholic tone reveals that the author appreciates the bond that develops between a pet and its owner. The tone makes it clear that Updike sympathizes with any owner who loses a pet to death. The tone reinforces the author's claim that dogs are loyal to their owners, even in the face of death. The tone also supports the author's belief that pets and their owners share a strong bond, even if the pet is new to the family. Thanks for watching.